Hey guys, it's Chris with Double Eagle Gunworks, and uh, today we're going to be looking at the Wheeler Armorer's Handgun Sight Tool. Uh, I used this recently to change the sights on my HK45, uh, just because I didn't like the original sights uh, that were on it. Uh, but let's uh, take a look at this thing and uh, see how it works. So, it's a pretty... heavy tool uh, it's made out of um, I think this is um, milled aluminum that the um, the sight frame and everything itself is made out of uh, it's got a uh, the pusher bar here on the side that uh, works the the actual uh, piece here that will adjust the sights uh, and then it's got uh, the adjustment where you can put the, um, the slide in and it, it will work with pretty much any kind of um, semi-auto slide uh, as long as it fits in the, um, the channel of the, the tool here. So you, you've got a, the bottom section and this is where uh, you'd actually set the slide. So if I was gonna be doing the um, the rear sight on this gun again this is the slide off of the HK 45 uh, you put the the slide in and it's got lines on the bottom of the frame here to help you uh, make sure that you keep the gun uh, straight in there because you don't want to be pushing the slide out uh, or pushing the sight out rather at an angle uh, so you line it up on these grooves here or on the lines um, so you just put the the slide in and if you're going to be pushing from right to left or whichever direction you're pushing you want the slide pushed all the way up against that side now these um, you got knobs on the side here that will adjust some uh, stays on the inside of the frame that will hold uh, the slide in place. So you put the slide in and if I was actually gonna be doing anything on this, I would probably uh, tape up the, the slide a little bit just because of these, uh, they're um, got an anodized uh, finish on the, um, the stays here, but just so that it wouldn't mess up the finish on the slide, Go ahead and put a little bit of uh, blue tape on the slide just so that it, it doesn't mess up uh, the finish on your slide. So you just put the, the slide in and then run the adjustment screws over so that it catches the slide. And just so you make sure you're lined up on the, the, um, the lines down there so everything's straight in there. And then you have an adjustment for the height of this piece by using this screw right here. Okay, so this, this screw here at the top adjusts the height of the, um, the pusher here so that you can uh, get it exactly where you need it on the, um, the slide. And it's also got a um, the way the this piece is cut it's got a rounded uh, section in the middle that uh, if the top of your slide is round then you can uh, put it in there or if it's just a square top then you just use these two flat parts to sit on top of the slide to get your adjustment so you would put uh, this on and then you need to adjust it so that the um, the slide, the this piece, is just barely above the top of the slide. So to do that, you just use the the adjustment tool here to get the the height so that it's just barely going to be catching the. Uh, right over the top of the slide so you don't uh, scrape the top of your slide 
uh, with this piece as it's pushing the, the slide, uh, pushing the side out. Um, and then you also want to make sure that the slide is in there so that it is pushing the, the sight right out of the dovetail. Um, so you get this lined up so that these legs, or when they come in contact with the sight, it will actually uh, be right over the dovetail and everything will, uh, you're not gonna be binding the sight as you're trying to, to get it out. So you uh, put all that, put the, these washers back on, and then screw these down here. And you don't want to crank them down extremely tight, but just get them good and snug uh, on there so that it, uh, this doesn't move around while you're trying to adjust the slide. So once the slide is locked in there and you've got the, the height adjusted right, um, and you've got everything uh, adjusted so that the um, the pusher block is lined up properly with your sight, then if you're going to be taking the sight from uh, right to left like I had to do on this one, then you would get the, uh, from, from my perspective, the right leg of the, the pusher block up against the right side of the sight so that uh, it would be in contact with it. And then you just turn this handle and it pushes the sight out. Now, depending on the gun that you have, uh, some guns will have screws coming from inside the slide, uh, either a, some type of set screw or uh, some type of pin that's gonna be holding the, uh, the sight in place. Now, the HK doesn't have uh, anything in, coming from inside the slide, it's just the tension uh, of the dovetail that holds everything in place uh, on this particular gun. But check your um, gun's owner's manual, or uh, if you're unfamiliar with that, then you may want to get somebody, that uh, a gunsmith that is more familiar with uh, the guns to be able to change the sight for you. Um, but make sure that you don't have to take any screws out, and if you don't, then you can just start using this handle to push the, uh, the uh, sight back out of the dovetail. Now, if uh, you start pushing the sight over and it, it starts twisting this block so that it, it's not perfectly perpendicular uh, to the, the frame here and it starts getting you know, really in a bind, then you may need to take a punch and get the sight started coming back out. Uh, that's what I had to do on this slide. Uh, the um, original sight was stuck in there uh, pretty tight, so I had to take a um, punch and get it started, get it broke loose, and then once I, I broke it loose with the punch, then this was very easy just to push it on out uh, of the, um, the slide. And uh, you can watch the video, we'll have a link to it uh, down in the uh, description of the, the video here, uh, where you can watch me actually take the, um, the sights off of this, this slide and put on the new ones. Uh, but this thing is real easy to use uh, and you don't wanna put anything else on here to help you get any extra uh, pressure on here. You can turn it pretty easily uh, with just your hand, but uh, if you try to use like a, a cheater bar or something like that, then you're gonna be getting a, too much pressure uh, on the site and you won't be able to kind of feel how the thing is, is coming out on you because you don't wanna exert a, a ton of, of pressure against it. You may have to actually bump it a little bit with a, uh, with a um, punch to get it started. Uh, but it can do the rear sight and it can do the, um, the front sight uh, of the gun. The, the rear sight on this one was easier uh, to take out than the front sight because there was more of a ledge uh, on the rear sight for this thing uh, to be able to catch against and push it out. The, um, the front sights, they're flush with the top of the slide other than just the, um, the part that actually sticks up above uh, the top of the slide, so it's a little bit trickier uh, doing the front sight, but uh, the the armor's 
handgun sight tool makes it uh, pretty easy uh, to change the sights. And the main reason that I went ahead and, and decided to get this thing uh, was I, I knew I was going to be changing the sights on this, uh, but I was originally just going to do uh, just use punches uh, to take them out because I, uh, of course, watched a YouTube video uh, to see how to do that, and uh, the guy was just using a punch. But once I got the the new sights that I was going to put on the gun, I was reading through all the information on the sights, and uh, if you're worried about uh, a warranty on your sights or anything like that, being able to uh, use that if it ever comes down to it then the owner's manual says if you use a punch it voids the warranty on the sights so uh, i went ahead and uh spent the money to buy the the armor's tool and i'm glad i did uh, because it makes it a lot easier uh, to change these uh, sights out uh, as long as you've got the dovetailed um, sight uh, in the slide uh, so it, it works pretty easy uh, to take everything out so if you're going to be changing your sights uh, then i'd recommend that you get something like this now uh, if you're going to when you start to do the the front sight and depending on how the slide of your gun is made the the rear of the slide of course is flat uh, but depending on how your particular gun is made, usually the, um, the lug that holds in the um, recoil spring is gonna be down below the level of the, the slide itself. So uh, the tool is designed to be able to take care of that by having this uh, notch cut out in the, uh, the frame of the, um, the tool. So you would just turn it around and have it facing you where the, the notch is uh, to this side, and then you just put the slide in so that the, the lug of the, uh, for the recoil spring is in this notch, and then you've got, you can get the, the sight tool lined up properly to be able to push the front sight out. Uh, uh, with this particular sight here, when I was, uh, started to push it, uh, back in with the tool and again just having to, to push against the, the top of the sight it was wanting to get cocked in the dovetail a little bit so I wound up having to start it uh, with the punch to be able to get it going in straight and then I was able to take the tool and finish it uh, pushing it over once I got the enough of the, the dovetail in the groove here to be able to to get it and keep it going straight i didn't want to uh, mess up the the legs on the dovetail of, of on the side itself so i got it started uh, with that and then use the uh, the pusher to finish it out but uh, once you get the the sights in the gun then to make your fine adjustments uh, right and left then you can uh, you'll have the these legs on here to be able to to move it just a, a little bit one way or the other because uh, you can push left to right or right to left just depending on how you want you need to um, move the slide or move the sight rather um, and if you have a sight that instead of being 90 degree walls on the the side of, uh, of the sight if, you, if your sight has a, a, a bevel on the, the top of the, uh, the sight, then you can change this piece and flip it over so that the bevel piece is down and use it to be able to push uh, the sight out. Uh, but overall, I really like uh, the, the Wheeler sight pusher. It's... Um, really well designed tool uh, makes it easy uh, to to take the the sights uh, on and off uh, of the slides um, and the um, the instructions that come with it are are pretty clear about how everything is supposed to be done uh, so it gives you very detailed pictures uh, and everything to show you exactly how to do everything 
uh, so that you don't wind up uh, messing your, your gun up. But overall, I would highly recommend it. Uh, if you are looking for some way to be able to change the sights out on your pistol, then look into the, the Wheeler Engineering uh, Armor's handgun sight tool. Uh, I think it would be a great uh, purchase for you. Uh, it would be a good uh, tool to have in your arsenal to be able to work on your guns. Uh, so for more information, check out DoubleLegalGunWorks.com and like and subscribe down at the bottom. Check you later.